To understand if the Minoan civilization was destroyed by a cataclysmic volcanic event, I'm attempting to obtain a geological sample at the site of one of history's biggest eruptions, the ancient Thera volcano. Here we go. Absolutely beautiful. It is unique. Yes. You are in the middle of Sodorini Caldera. You can feel the power of the volcano. You really can. I mean, looking out here today, everything I see is water, but it was not always like this. No, it was not like this. All of this area was land. And what about this? Was this part of the old island? No, no, this is a new island. So the volcano is pushing up again. It's regrowing. Exactly. This is the obvious bet for what took them out. Everybody believes that the eruption of Sadorini Volcano destroyed the Minoan civilization, but this is not quite true, and we need to prove that. Evi believes the volcanic eruption might not align to the disappearance of the Minoans quite as exactly as everyone believes. But testing that theory won't be easy. So how do you prove it? So we are going to collect some samples on the seafloor in, in order to do some dating to find the exact age of the Minoan eruption collecting samples from an active volcano. It will be exciting. Never a dull moment. This is Dimitris Kombanos. He's an expert diver on Evi's team, who is leading the charge on collecting samples of volcanic rock from the Thera explosion. If the Minoans were blown to bits by one of history's biggest bangs, the samples need to line up chronologically with their disappearance. Here we go. Once we splash in, we hug the edge of the crater, a volcanic wonderland that looks like something out of Jules Verne. Wow, just wow. It is another world down here. You realize how enormous the explosion must have been to move rock like this. A few dozen feet toward the center of the caldera, I take the opportunity to do something that would kill me on land. I jump off a cliff. Free fall. This drop goes down a thousand feet or more into the active abyss of the volcano. There's absolutely no bottom. Before I fall too far, I adjust my buoyancy and circle back to Demetrius to get down to work. Uh, is everything okay down there? Everything is great. It's absolutely incredible down here, Evie. You are diving in Sadorini Caldera. It's beautiful. I may never come back. We begin hunting along the walls for pristine samples of volcanic rock that were blasted out by the eruption. Aha! This is pumice a volcanic rock created when gas-filled lava solidifies. It's the exact kind of sample that could date the Thera eruption, and it's great for getting rough skin off the soles of your feet. Okay, great, we'll bag it. We collect several more samples. Demetrius hones in on a terrific find, a much denser piece of hardened lava. We've achieved part of the mission. But to find additional samples that would give us the clearest picture, we need to get to the bottom of the ocean floor. Heavy, we're headed back to the surface now. Copy that. 